Hi everyone and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4 as China. So, let's continue where we left off. And I think it's time to execute the first stage of our battle plan. Yep. We'll just execute this part. And once we're done, we'll execute the next one. That works. And I don't think I'm going to attack with the communist divisions. I'll just let them sit on the front line. Or we can make a much smaller battle plan. That might be a little bit better. I would replace them with my own divisions, but... The problem with that... Is that my divisions are kind of busy... Defending against Japanese invasions. I can show you. Yes, Japan is trying to invade me almost constantly. And I would have to move my divisions first. Position them on the front line. And then... Move the communist division south to defend my coastline. That would give Japan a pretty big window to actually invade me. I'm not going to leave my coastline undefended. I can't just move the communist divisions first because then no one will be defending the front line and I don't have enough troops here to defend everything. Or I probably do, but then I would have to stop my actual attack. What we can do is just let the communists sit on the front line and simply defend. And I can do most of the work with my actual army. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. Okay, we got one more division down here. I think we can send him to the front line, yep. And how's our recruitment going? It will still take a while. Yeah, June. Okay, so several months, unfortunately. And how's our production? Looking good. Almost 15 artillery per day. Not bad at all. Carry on. Okay, hold on. Let's modify this battle plan again. We can take at least a few provinces. That certainly won't hurt. So, these three. Or maybe a few more. Yeah, like this. That's a better plan. We can do that. The problem is that a lot of these divisions are kind of weak. Only 40% fighting strength. That's the main reason I wanted to replace them. It's not even about the war score. These are simply not very good divisions at all. But like I said, I'm not going to leave my coastline undefended. Research is done. We should probably go for the new light cruiser, so let's do that. Come on, people. Go, go, go. Oh, we got two rank 5 generals now, or field marshals. Nice. And we got a new ability. Defensive doctrine and offensive doctrine. Awesome. Alright. And more research is done. Let's have a look. What can we get now? Construction free? Maybe. What else? I could actually go for the 1940 fighter. It's not a bad idea. Yeah, okay, let's get started on that. It won't take that long. And I will need fighters in the future, a lot of them probably. Speaking of fighters, how's our fighter production? 1.61 per week, alright. We just need to wait for production efficiency. We're also about to finish a cruiser. Once we finish the cruiser, I could switch to convoys while we work on the new cruiser. And once we finish researching the new one, we'll switch back to the cruiser. Because 170 days is not enough to build a second one. Nope, it's not enough. And we'll need convoys one way or the other. Another thing I should research at some point are troop transports. Because I start without that. It won't take very long, but we have to actually research that. 134 days. Okay, carry on. So, how are we doing here? Not as well as I expected. Naval effort is done. That gives us a few new dockyards. 
the Molotov Ribbentrop Pact. That was to be expected. What can we get next? We could grab aviation effort. We could grab equipment effort too, which might not be a bad idea. Yep, let's go for equipment effort too. That works for me. And we'll finish the next Doctrine in 47 days. So, should we execute this battle plan? I think so, we can try to take at least a few more provinces here. Shouldn't be too hard, even with fairly weak divisions. 98, okay, another province is ours. Going well so far. It would be nice to take an airbase of some kind. Because we're about to move into a new air region. And my airbase near Beijing is a little bit too far away from that. I don't really want to spend production time building airbases here. France bans communism. We don't really care about that. How's our artillery stockpile? Almost 500. Probably a good moment to add another division, uh, another battalion. Let's maybe do that. So, artillery. And that's that. We could add the engineer company. Yep, let's also do that. That works. But we still need a lot of support equipment. Should probably assign more factories to that, honestly. Once they are done. Okay, carry on then. We need more organization here. Yes, we do. 15 out of 36. 11 out of 36. That's not very good. But we are still making progress, mostly with other divisions that don't have this problem. Now I don't want your expeditionary forces, thanks. Any naval invasions? Yep. There are naval invasions almost constantly. It's pretty annoying. Main reason why I don't really want to move any of these divisions. I'm not going to let Japan invade me. Definitely not. So, what about political power? What can we get? Army logistics, air superiority. What about some research bonuses? Any bonuses we actually care about? Minus 10% naval research time. I mean, it might be worth getting that. Division organization plus 8%. Division attack plus 10%. Yeah, we should grab one of these guys, but which one? I like division attack. Especially since we switched to superior firepower. So let's get that guy, that works. Okay, carry on then. Now we're making some better progress. Looking good. Still got invasions. Yeah, I'll just let the Chinese divisions, or the communist Chinese divisions, mostly sit on the front line. We can do most of the work with our actual army. I mean, we got 41 divisions here. That should be enough to take most of this, if not everything. And we are still recruiting more, but that will take a while, unfortunately. Mostly because I'm prioritizing reinforcements, because, you know, that actually makes sense. How's our construction queue? Looking good. I don't think we need that infrastructure repaired all that much. At least not right now. Okay then. June. That's a little bit longer than I expected. But okay. Come on, people. How many victory points is this worth? Probably not many. Three victory points, yep. 
If we want victory points, we'll have to invade Japan. Not a whole lot of victory points around here. I mean, there are quite a few, but they are only worth like 1.3 point, points. Mostly 1 point. Yep. That's okay, we'll have to invade Japan to win this war, one way or the other. Also, I don't like this battle plan too much anymore. I think we should redo that a bit. So, remove that. We should probably take that naval base. Possibly, yeah. What's this supposed to be? That was part of the first stage. Yeah, it was. Right, let's redo this real quick. I'll pause for a moment. What if we start an offensive line down here? This will look a little bit awkward. I mean, I could do something like this. And move the arrow a bit. I guess that works. Or we could push south first. This looks a little bit funny. Yeah, that's not exactly what I wanted to see. Let's just push through the middle first. Doesn't make a big difference. There's our new doctrine. So, start working on the next one, or... We could start working on improved infantry equipment too. And then we can use the focus bonus to get weapons free. Or we can use the focus bonus to get infantry anti-tank. Support weapons to... Right, let's keep working on the doctrine. Plus 20% defense for all infantry. The superior firepower doctrines are so good. A little bit too good, perhaps. Well, we're making some progress in the north, though. I think this front line is a little bit too big at this point. Okay, hold on. I think we should modify this a little. Yeah, we certainly should. Like so, and then extend the other one. There, that's much better. Yep. Much better. It actually starts where our battle plan starts now, which makes a lot more sense. More invasions. Yep, they are happening almost constantly. But we are making some really nice progress. House production. Yeah, let's switch to convoys. We need more convoys anyway. We don't have a lot, as you can see. And house research. 100 days to finish Light Cruiser 2. Okay. Construction. Looking good. Production. Yep. Only 10 support equipment per day. And we need 1,000. It will take a while to get all of that. But I can't make it much faster. Also, I prefer to focus on artillery. We'll get the support equipment eventually. Okay, these guys really need a rest. Where are they exactly? Right here. Not seeing this one. What's going on? Poland seeks Baltic cooperation. Yeah, have fun with that. It's not going to help you against Germany. Equipment effort too. What do we want next? We could get started on some of the political focuses. Large navy, flexible navy. I wouldn't mind cruiser effort. So we could go for that. We could get aviation effort, that will give us two air bases. Yeah, sure, let's do that. That's only 70 days. And then we can get a research bonus for fighters, maybe. That certainly wouldn't hurt. 
200 days to finish Fighter 2. We could get Fighter 3 with that bonus. The 1944 one. Not right now, but in like 1940, 1941 or so. Three years ahead of time. Okay, the front line is messed up again. Yeah, it's way too long right now. Need to make it shorter. Let's have a look. Yep, like this, and extend this one. That's much better. Just making it the same as the battle plan. Come on, people, and how's our artillery? 778 shortage still, alright. We're making 21 artillery per day. I could probably start a new production line with artillery, but we got other things to spend production for. So maybe not yet. Might do it later. One more to infantry equipment, and then to support equipment. Let's max out infantry equipment first, and then we'll max out support equipment. Because we'll need both. I still need like 30,000 weapons though, if not 40. Probably more like 40. How's world status? Looking good. Japan lost 731k. We also lost quite a lot, but that's fine. We're winning, that's what matters. And the ratio is still in our favor. Not by much, but it still is. You guys aren't doing a whole lot, are you? Supplies. Supply seems fine. Alright. I guess they are chilling. That's the second army, yeah. 39 divisions, though. I mean, we're doing okay on the front line, so I suppose this is fine. And we could set up a new offensive line, just to give them something to do. Yeah. Like this. Wait, no, that's not exactly what I had in mind. That was the wrong army. Whoops! Yeah, this one. <laughs> that would have been awkward. Yep, this works. And we'll wait for full planning bonus. Oh, 25 out of 25. And I can't see in this region. 0 out of 3, right. So, how's our planning bonus for the next stage? Why is there one guy from the first army all the way in the north? That's a little bit strange, but alright. Whatever floats his boat. Yeah, let's wait for the planning bonus now, and then we can execute the next stage of the plan. There's no huge rush. And yep, yeah, more invasions. They are trying pretty much constantly. They aren't succeeding, but that's because I'm defending the coastline. Concentrated industry tool, nice. So, what's next? Probably synthetic refineries. We have to research that sooner or later. Preferably sooner, at this point. And how's that cruiser coming along? Two more months. Okay then, how many cruisers do we have anyway? One? I thought we had more than that. Alright, apparently we have one. We actually have a pretty decent Admiral, rank 4. But no actual navy. <laughs> He's unemployed. We still got a lot of territory to take. This will likely take a while. And then we still have to invade actual Japan.
Okay. The important part is that we're winning. We're done with the hardest part. Artillery production is going quite well. We could probably just add another division, uh, I mean another battalion right now. Yep, let's just add one more right away, why not? That's 266 soft attack. Decent enough. And we could start merging the templates. I still got 9... Yeah, we got 13 divisions that use the other templates. Now, there's no easy way to find all these divisions from this level, but I could replace their icons. And that will make them much easier to find. So let's do it like that. It will be much more obvious where exactly they are. So these are all supposed to get replaced. We can just get started on that right away. Yep, like this. I think I have to select all of them. Including the reserve ones, although we can replace the reserve ones later. There we go. Any more anywhere? Let's have a look. Not seeing any over here. Nope, nope. Nope. That might be it. Looks like it, okay. Now we can remove these templates. We don't need them. They are just taking space. These were really bad templates too. And remove some of these. Yeah, these are not very good. Remove the first one. Yep, this looks much, much better. We still got 21 reserve divisions. These guys. And these are just really, really bad, as you can clearly see yourself. It might almost make more sense to disband some of them. Possibly. Or we can switch them to the other template one by one. Not all of them at the same time. That makes a bit more sense, actually. I don't want to switch everything at once. We'll switch a few and we'll just keep working on that. There. Now we'll wait for actual equipment. Yeah, we need almost 2,000 artillery now. We'll wait for that. Okay, how's our progress? Seems fine. Enemy has air superiority. Yeah, that's because this is a new air region. A completely new air region. But I don't see any actual fighters in there. <laughs> Can we actually reach that region from Beijing? Probably not. We'll have a massive penalty, most likely. Yeah, only 40%. Okay, I expected the penalty to be bigger, actually. It's not going to be super useful, but we don't have anything better to do anyway. Not much point keeping them in northern China, because that won't actually achieve anything at all. Even with a penalty, this is still better. So, carry on. How many new fighters do we have by now? 47. Yeah, I think we can deploy them. Maybe not all of them at once, like 40. No, that's interwar fighter. Never mind. Okay. 3.92 per week. I guess they are just reinforcements at the moment. That's probably the case. Can we check details? Yeah, Fighter 1. They are being used as reinforcements right now. We're not producing enough to get new ones. Just the interwar. Okay, carry on. And upgrades, right. How's our planning bonus at this point? Some of these guys still have it. 
Are they actually doing anything? Not a whole lot, no. Yeah, we finished the first stage. So we can either execute the next one right away, or we can wait to get more planning bonuses. I don't think there's the need to. Let's just execute it right away. I see no need to wait too long. We do have an advantage. Our fighting strength is high. Our organization is mostly maxed out. So yeah, just attack. And we can probably execute the other battle plan as well. This army is looking so much worse, but... We'll execute this part too. At least they will do something. So I'm carrying on. Aviation effort is done. No need to go for fighter focus yet. Let's get started on the political ones. Germany declared war on Romania, alright. Romania rejects German arbitration. Wait. How exactly do they plan to attack Romania? Oh yeah, Hungary, through Hungary, I suppose. Alright. I mean, that's a little bit different. Which is why I like to play with historical AI focuses turned off. They would normally declare war on Poland at this stage of the game. In fact, this is exactly when they would normally declare war on Poland. No thanks, I don't want your two divisions. Okay, what else can we get here? Plus 10% air support. We could get that naval research time bonus, which is not a bad idea. We can get a research bonus. This guy is probably best, or this bonus is probably best. Plus 10% agility and plus 10% maximum speed. But we won't be doing that much air research. I think I'll be doing more naval research. So it would make more sense to get that. We could also change our conscription law. There's no real need to do it. Unless I want to switch to total mobilization. Which I see no need to. Let's get the naval bonus, it's fine. Yep, we are already winning. We didn't need all the planning bonuses. Does Japan even have any artillery? No, they added some tanks, apparently. Okay, yeah, they added one tank to their division template, to their infantry division template. Bit of a strange way to go about it, but whatever flows their boat. Yep, we are winning. Quite easily, too. No naval invasions. Supply might be a bit of a problem, but we'll be fine. Can we deploy a new air wing? We got 62 in reserve. Alright, let's just deploy them, whatever. And send them to Manchuria. Yes, yo. Is it too far away? Oh, it might actually be too far away for them. Yeah, it's actually too far away. Okay, we'll just do air superiority in northern China. Just to give them something to do. It's probably completely unnecessary, but... We'll do it anyway. Getting close to that naval base. Then again, it's not like they will be using that naval base... ...for a whole lot. Not for naval invasions, that's for sure. Haven't seen any naval invasions in a while. I guess they are too busy not losing and not doing a very good job at it. Anyway, I'm going to make a cut here and continue in the next episode. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.